Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and how's it going? I am here with a game that you should totally be recognizing since, well, I'm on the load screen of it. Anyway, this is, if you haven't guessed already, Metal Gear Solid. And, as always, I'm here on the uh, load screen because I just think it would be better for us to get the little story before we uh, start. Also, to help me kind of figure out where I need to go anyway. After meeting up with Meryl, Snake gets the detonation code emergency override key from her. However, she only had one of the three keys to stop the nuclear attack. One must deactivate the detonation code or destroy Metal Gear itself. Okay. Snake and Meryl head for the underground maintenance bay where Metal Gear is being stored. According to Meryl, there is no, other, no way other than going north in the commander's room on the first floor basement in the nuclear warhead storage building. Or something like that. Hopefully you got all that, because I did kind of read that kind of quickly. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Now, you guys told me that I actually missed out on something, and I'm very sorry about that. I wasn't aware that you could get a scene if you came in here fast enough. Um... Part of me just wanted to see if you could like search that body and find anything, but no. That'd be too simple. But yeah, I'm sorry I missed out on that scene. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? And also, a few of you thought I was really cruel for hitting Meryl. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. It was just kind of a joke, just to see how you guys would react. And I was just also trying to show something off, you know, I was trying to show off that yes, you can actually hit Meryl, so you got to be careful with what you do in the game, because you don't want to accidentally like, hit one of your uh, teammates, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure that there was a way to hit, um, what's his name, um, Otakon. I'm sure there's some way you could probably pull it off. You know, you hit the locker that he's in or something. I'm sure you could probably scare him or something. You want to get those dies and pams, whatever the hell they're called, whenever you can. And the night vision goggles. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if I can save again after getting those, and it would count it as a shortcut, or if it, uh, you know, if it counted as actually me getting it. Or I won't count it because I have the whole thing with um, needing to go through a door first. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to figure something out because I don't want to keep having to come back here and grab it. Which I would do it off screen for you guys' sake if I keep dying at this boss. But anyway, if you remember right, we had a boss fight before. And um, let's see if I can remember the controls. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I know, that's something you probably don't want to hear. Okay, yeah, hold square to aim and release to fire. Okay, that's always the same. Same for here. Okay, we don't need grenades. They're not going to help us during this during that fight. Neither will this, this. Well, you might be able to use C4, but um, something tells me it just wouldn't be that effective. I've never seen it. Uh, I've never seen it used. And also, I. <laughs> I'm sure this may not seem like much of a blind let's play because of that. Like I've said, I've watched a let's play before. I think I've had that discussion before too. Um, the only thing I know about the bosses is when I get into the room and I see with my own eyes what I try to remember from it, you know. So we got the suppressor, so come. We got the uh, fully automatic, um, whatever the fuck the MAS, MAS stands for. Sorry, I'm already cussing. Uh, we got the remote-controlled missile launcher, the claymores, the C4, sun, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, like I said, none of these grenades or anything like that will really help you much during this fight. The only thing you really need is the SOCOM pistol. It's really your go-to weapon for like pretty much the entire game uh, for most of the fights. We will need it eventually, so let's go ahead and put it on our hand for later. Like, you know, you can remove it like this. Yeah, you got that. We're gonna need this key a little bit. We also got the emergency input, input key from last time, like she said. And we got the anti-anxiety drug, which ain't gonna do much here. 
So, for right now, we don't need that. But, you know, it's there. Then we got our cigarettes, as always, which you can smoke while you sit here and cause your health to plummet, if you so desire. And like last time, we got the night vision goggles, which is kind of stupid to wear in this room. But you can wear them anyway. Really, all we need is we want the level 5 card, and that's all we're going to need. We can't really hold much in our hand. The other problem is I wish I had more rations, but only having one is not a big deal. And, um... I wonder if I can, like, leave and Snake, come back. what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Yeah, so you can't even leave. I thought I would show that off. Too bad, though, because if I could leave, I could, you know, like, save all of my progress. I, I might as well try it. Let's see. What can I do for you, Snake? I'm just going to save what I what I just did. I don't really think it works, though, because I don't... It has to work on a checkpoint, like, uh, progress, which means any time you go through a door or something. Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessment. And those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Hmm. That's a shame. Anyway, as before, I could talk to everybody again and have them tell me that we need to go this way. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, for your sake. And as last time, you remember, we had that cutscene. I will skip it this time, so if you missed it, you're going to have to go back and watch the episode again, because I don't want to show it off again. Oh, I can save it right here, perhaps. Oh, I'm well, too late for that. Skip that. Are you okay? Uh, Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Yeah, sorry if you're mad about me skipping that, but nothing I can do. Anyway, as I said before, once you go through this door, the battle starts. So let's try to see what we can pull off this time. Oh shit, I really hope I remember how to grab people. Okay, yeah, square. Okay, good. Also, you notice that she comes up as a red target? That's an interesting thing. I never noticed that before. I don't care for that scene. Shut up. Ah! What the hell do you want? I know what you're gonna tell me. La 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 la. Shit, I keep getting shot. Anyway, now, skip this guy. Oh, I can't. Perhaps I should say your past. I don't want you to read my mind, I want you to shut the hell up. There we go. Now let's put our movement into a head. If I can get the goddamn thing plugged back in. There we go. Okay, so controller port 2 is active now. Hedio's up there. I forget who, oh yeah, it was you trying morning who told me that. Told me what the uh, Hedio stand is for. I really appreciate that by the way. Um, I did not know that at all. Here. Okay, good. Ah. Oh, 
I love how the bases actually get in your way of you being able to shoot him. There's one of my rations. And then he just killed my screen again. Remember, when you can't see him, just keep moving. That's the only way you can keep from getting shot by that. I can't reach you yet. As I said before, he'll say different things as you uh, hit him more and more. Even though the bases are his weakest attack that he can do against you, it's still better to try to avoid it. Ugh, oh, that hurt. I can tell you right now though, I'm like freaking out here because I'm freaking out about how I know something is about to come up near the end of this fight, something that really sucks that I don't want to have to deal with. this game though it makes me really miss uh, Kingdom Hearts because in that game you know you can um, defend yourself by rolling this game you can't even do that you know I'm almost out of bullets I'm gonna be so screwed now I'm pretty sure you cannot you know um, hit him with, um, you know, just your fist. I think you have to shoot him with a gun. And so that's where this is kind of an issue. Because if you can't hit him with your fist, you know, how are you gonna be able to do damage if you run out of bullets? And that's why I'm having issues because, you know, I'm just wasting my bullets on him. I did not know it refilled. I, I don't think that respawned, did it? Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Oh. This part. This is the part I was worried about. Because during this part, you have to both watch out for him and knock her back out. Fuck, I hate this part. You gotta get over to her as fast as you fucking can and knock her out again. No, it cannot be! No! Then grab your weapon and start the fight again. And if you can, for the for the love of God, keep yourself alive. Because if you die at this part, it kind of sucks. You know, we haven't had him 
freak out on monitor in a while. I don't think you can shoot him when he first appears like that. Though he just keeps doing that and... I swear, this is one of the times in a game, like, I've ever played a game and had an issue where I'm just, like, freaking out the entire time, like, I cannot die, I cannot die, I cannot die. Even during that, oh, shit. Even during that one fight that I was doing with, um, that damn ninja, I didn't feel as afraid as I do right now, you know? again. Hold on, let's see if we can't get some help, because I don't know what to do at this point. That Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. I already know this. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. He got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Got anything else? Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Okay, so nothing else from that I can get. What about you? It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. But you've got more battle experience. You can do it, Snake. Yeah, that doesn't help me at all. next episode, we will take him on again. I'll get him back to the point where we are. Don't worry. Till then. Bye.